Okay, Chris Billum Smith versus Mateus Mastanak. Now, I thought this fight would probably be a bit tricky for Chris Billum Smith, but I didn't think he would struggle this bad because Mastanak really was boxing his head off through the majority of this fight. Obviously, Chris Billum Smith ended up getting the stoppage, which I'll talk about in a second. But up until that point and up until that round, it was all Masternak, really. I mean, the first round, maybe you could have given it either way or maybe to Billum Smith. But after that, Masternak got on his jab. He was moving around the ring. Chris Billum Smith was struggling to pin him down. He was rocking Billum Smith's head back with the jabs, one twos. It was relatively basic boxing, but it was well executed for Masternak. In fact, Masternak reminds me a little bit of a guy called Oleg Maskaev who was actually a former WBC heavyweight champion back in the days, famously knocked Hassim Ratman out of the ring, beat Ratman twice. And his style, very similar to Masternak's style. Seems basic, but he's got a real strong jab, uses his feet well. Masternak moves a little bit more than Maskaev, but Maskaev could move relatively well for a heavyweight. So yeah, he was putting, Masternak that is, that jab on Chris Billum Smith, he was timing him. He was controlling him. I thought he buzzed Chris Billum Smith a couple times. Chris Billum Smith has come through tough moments in fights before, but you don't want to be taking punches as consistently as he is in many of his contests because not only will that have a cumulative effect on you in the fight itself, but it'll have a cumulative effect on you in all of your fights long term. It all adds up. It's like miles on the clock for a car is wear and tear. And so while Chris Billum Smith might be able to come through it at the moment, a couple fights down the line, perhaps he won't be able to come through it when somebody's putting this many shots on him. And there were moments in this fight where I thought this could be the night against Masternak when he actually comes unstuck. Obviously, we know he lost to Richard Riakpour previously, but I'm talking about during this current run of form that he's on, I thought, wow, this could be the night that it's all over. But strangely, Masternak completely unraveled after a couple of decent attacks from Chris Billum Smith where he landed a few body shots and he refused to answer the bell. I believe it was for the eighth round. Now, it came so out of the blue that it appeared to shock even Chris Billum Smith himself. I certainly was dumbfounded and puzzled by the way that Masternak pulled out because Masternak, let's have a look at his box rec here. He's 36 years of age. He's been around a very, very long time. He's not likely to get another world title fight. So surely when you're a mile ahead on the scorecards, or you have to imagine you would be, you would just power through, try and grit it out for the remainder of the fight and hope to get a decision. I mean, Chris Billum Smith looked dog tired. So for Masternek to just quit the way he did, very, very strange. I haven't seen anything like that in Masternak's career previously. You're winning a fight hands down. The guy lands a couple body shots. He looked a little uncomfortable when they landed, but nothing too devastatingly obvious. And then all of a sudden he pulls out. Maybe he's just an old guy with miles on the clock and he can't take the kind of punishment that he used to take. Maybe that's all it is with Masternak. Whatever the case may be, Chris Billum Smith got the win retains his cruiserweight title. Next, presumably, will be Richard Riakpour. And on that performance right there, I would have to pick Richard Riakpour to beat Chris Billum Smith again based on this form. Now, Riakpour maybe isn't quite as mobile as Masternak, but he's much more powerful and he's much improved since the first time he fought Chris Billum Smith. Now, Chris Billum Smith says he's a totally different fighter now to the first time he fought uh, Richard Riakpour. For my money, I think Riakpour has improved more than Chris Billum Smith has. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me how, what you thought about Billum Smith's performance, uh, whether he's got a chance in beating Richard Riakpour in a rematch or any of the cruiserweight champions out there, the likes of Jay Pattaya and so forth. Let me know in the comments.